was the first time that I had just immersed myself in entrepreneurship. The business was really growing and it was just whatever the business brought in was what I had. And when Hurricane Harvey came, I had some damages to equipment and it was just real difficult to recover from. After Harvey, everything was real tough. It was a, a real dark place in my life. My daughter, Naomi, she had been diagnosed with spinal muscular atrophy uh, type two. It was tough because this was something that just really wasn't on my radar, you know, and it was a lot happening all at once. When you see your child go from being able to kind of stand um, to where, you know, they can't stand anymore, and then like where she is now, where she just basically, you know, she can sit erect and, and um, that's about it. You know, you have to move her everywhere that she has to go. I was holding it all in and, you know, that was causing friction, you know, at home. It was time to go and do something different, find a job so things could be a little bit easier at home. I hadn't been able to find any results on my own, so going to Workforce Solutions and talking to some of the job specialists over there, it really helped me to, to lock into something. The truth is, for the majority of our residents, you're just one paycheck away from being in a very tough situation. When you don't have a living wage or you don't have enough coming in, I don't really think that there's any way you can make it without some type of public assistance or partnerships through community organizations. We don't offer all the same resources that Baker Ripley does or different nonprofit organizations do, and we all have our specialty. But when we all can do what we do well, then I think that our, our residents can benefit from that. But without the whole meshing of the nonprofit profit sector in Houston, our clients wouldn't be able to get served the way that they need to and residents wouldn't have what they need. So it, it definitely takes a village to help with some of the ills that uh, our residents are facing. One thing that I've learned over time is that when you get to a situation or you go through something in life like a Harvey situation or if it's a debilitating illness, for me and my faith, it's like when, when God is all you have, he's more than enough and then he will kind of direct the path if you just stay in the fight. You know, you stay in the fight and you keep walking and then he'll lead you to the places that you need to go, like Workforce Solutions and Baker Ripley and this whole community in Houston. It's like it's there and it can be an asset to you, but you have to know where to go and how to get to what the, the resources are that you need. When you're dealing with all this emotional stuff, sometimes it's just difficult for you to navigate through all of that by yourself. And that's where I think community partners play a huge role in getting a client through whatever their various mess or situation may be into a place of more stability and wholeness. This experience turned out to be you know, the best one of my life because it led me into the position where I am now with the Alliance, but really it helped me to gain a sense of self-worth again.